Hey everyone, the title of our study is Assessment on the Proficiency of San Antonio Elementary School Teachers on Results-Based Performance Management, Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers for School Year 2021-2022, Basis for Upskilling and Reskilling Program for Teachers. Proponents, Cesar G. Concha and Freddie N. Bayaro. For rationale, teachers are catalysts of national development. With them, the nation is able to produce and develop learners who may lead the country to develop and progress. Enhancing teachers' quality and upholding quality teaching standards, therefore, should be given utmost importance for the long-term and sustainable nation building. This is based on the PILA back in 2019. In the Philippines, the DepEd um, utilized the Philippine professional standards for teachers in assessing the proficiency and competency of teachers. This is based on the issuance of DepEd Order Number 42, Series 2017. The researchers will conduct the study to assess the proficiency of the teachers of San Antonio Elementary School using the new RPMSP PBST indicators. The results will be utilized as basis in giving technical assistance and conducting upskilling and reskilling program for teachers. For key literature from the study of Tessin and Ulhadi back in 2015, Teachers performance and in the Philippine professional standards for teachers, the importance of professional standards in teachers, continuous professional development and improvement is recognized in the PPST lecture, which is based on the concept of lifelong learning. For methodology, purposive sampling technique was used in this study. All 14 teachers across grade levels were the respondents of the study. The teachers were oriented about the main objective of the study and requested to participate. Those who signed the consent form serve as official respondents of the study. Quantitative method was utilized in this study. The data were collected by using a survey with four-point Likert scale to assess the proficiency of the teachers in the different domains of the RPMS PPSD. The quantitative data were analyzed using tools such as weighted mean and verbal interpretation. Highest and lowest weighted mean in each domain were determined and analyzed. Tables were used in presenting the data. For the findings in research question 1, what is the level of the proficiency of the teachers in the following domain of their RPMS PPSD? This is the domain 1 for domain 2 and 5, domain 4, domain 6 and 7, and the plus factor. Research question number two, what is the level of proficiency of the teachers in the following core behavioral competencies? Self-management, professionalism and ethics, teamwork, service orientation, and innovation. For research question number three, which domain of the results-based performance management has the least level of proficiency among respondents? The table 13 shows the summary of results in all domain of PPSD RPMS. The respondents are proficient on each of the domains with plus factor has the lowest average mean of 2.57, showing that the respondents should be more equipped and guided in performing various related works and activities that contribute to teaching learning process. For research question number four, which core behavioral competency of our PMS PPSD has the least level of proficiency among respondents? The table 14 shows the summary of results in core behavioral competencies. The respondents are proficient on each of the competencies with innovation as the lowest average mean of 2.74, showing that the respondents should be more guided and fortified in being innovative in different aspects of teaching and learning. For research question number five, what is the technical assistance program for teachers can be made based on the results of the study? Based on the results, the teachers were proficient in different domains of PPSD, RPMS, as well as in core behavioral competencies. The study also aims to identify the least proficient domain and competency in order to create programs in reskilling and upskilling the teachers for their professional growth. So we have the focus group discussion and technical assistance as implications. This program will help the teachers focus on the weaknesses and lapses that they are experiencing in their teaching career. With the help of the school head and master teacher, these weaknesses will be addressed by giving technical assistance and solutions to the factors that affect their performance as educators. Then also in-service training for the development of the teachers that is based on PPSD RPMS. This action will help the teachers in addressing challenges they are encountering on their teaching career. For the conclusion, this study demonstrates that the teachers of San Antonio Elementary School were proficient in competent in different domains and core behavioral competencies. The results also show the domain and core behavioral competency with the lowest level of proficiency that will be addressed by the school's program for teachers' professional development. For recommendations, focus group discussion and technical assistance and in-service training. These are the references used throughout the study. Thank you very much.